The chair recognizes the gentleman from Wisconsin. I rise today in support of my amendment. This amendment funds the Dairy Business Innovation Initiatives, which supports our dairy farmers in the development, production, marketing, and distribution of their products. Wisconsin is America's dairy land, and it, this important program is why I also introduced, with, along with my great colleague Brian Stahl, the Dairy Business Innovation Act, which looks to increase the authorization from $20 million to $36 million, a 55% increase. Wisconsin is the home of nearly 6,000 dairy herds that produce over 2.7 billion pounds of milk a month. In fact, our district, there are many counties where our cows outnumber people by a ratio of four to one. Since President Biden took office, costs have risen by over 15% for Wisconsin farmers, and our agriculture industry is paying the price as Biden inflation makes it more expensive for farmers to fuel equipment, feed their livestock, and run their businesses. This amendment will help ease the burden of Biden inflation for our farmers and ensure that they are able to continue the, in, the innovations in today's uncertain economic times. We must ensure that Wisconsin dairy farmers continue to be able to feed the world. The time for fear-mongering with our farmers is over. I came to this body to legislate, not bloviate, and I encourage my colleague from the great state of Wisconsin who spoke so passionately earlier on this initiative to spend more time reading legislation versus X, formerly known as Twitter, because if he had, he would realize that this amendment was proposed in July. I encourage my colleagues, especially those in the Wisconsin delegation, to co-sponsor my bill and support this amendment. To not do so is clearly putting politics over our farmers. Actions speak louder than words. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized. I rise today in support of this amendment. Uh, thank you, uh, Tom and Mr. Speaker, which will continue the allowance of flavored milk in school nutrition programs. Dairy products deliver nutrients critical to children's health and development. Milk is the top source of protein, calcium, potassium, phosphorus, and vitamin D for children ages 2 to 11. Dairy also provides nutrients vital to for immune health. Unfortunately, children are not consuming enough dairy to benefit from these essential nutrients. Removing flavored milk from schools only deters school-aged children from drinking milk even more and ask my colleague to support this amendment to continue to fully allow non-fat and low-fat flavored milks in grades K through 12 to ensure our children have access to nutrients that they need. And I would say to my Democrat colleagues on the other side of the aisle that we must be cautious when we're speaking about conflating politics with science, and we've learned that over the last three years. With that, I yield back.